Well, hi guys and dolls. Welcome back to another video. It's Michelle from Michelle's Manny's. A while back I did a video showing you how to encapsulate that foil from AliExpress. Today I'm going to give you my take on what it would look like with spider gel and leaf foil. So I start out with uh, Madame Black's, Madame Black, oh my goodness, Madame Glam's Perfect Black, not Madame Black, and you, so the, the pinky I did do a full cover, very slowly. <laughs> So these tips, the ring finger I applied with glue. They're the Stiletto uh, Gel X dupes from AliExpress. I have short square uh, nail bed tips, full cover tips that I use for the nail beds for, for my right iguana hand. But the Stiletto tips are the Gel X dupes. So because I fight to get them to stay on with glue, I really do. Because the, the tips are kind of curvy and the nail beds are not. So I applied them just like I would on my own hand. I put base coat on the nail bed tips and cured it. And then I put a little bit of base coat inside the full coverage tips, the stilettos. Put them on cured them. Worked out beautifully. And all this time I've been struggling. But anyway, back to the set. Um, I didn't actually, not back to the set yet, I'm going to give you a little more information. I didn't actually buff out the interior of the full coverage tips or even prep the nail bed tip because it's just a practice hand. If I, when I'm doing it on myself, I absolutely do that. I, I buff out, not buff out, I file it out a little bit, rough it up so that the base coat sticks and same with my natural nails. I rough them up just a tiny, tiny bit. You don't have to go back crap crazy on your hands. You just want a little bit of a rough surface so that the base coat sticks to it or whatever you're using, be it acrylic, whatever. Um, you want to go lightly, very, very lightly, very gently over your natural nail with minimum 180 grit file or sanding band or what have you. But if you're using an e-file, put it on a low, like three to 5,000 RPMs is more than sufficient just to buff up the nails a little bit, rough up the nails a little bit. So yeah, so anyway, now we can go back to the set. Um, yes, yeah, so that's Perfect Black by Madame Glam. It is a beautiful two-coater it really is a two-coater. You could put it on thick and get it in one coat, but then you're going to run the risk of not getting a full cure all the way through just because darker colors and really highly pigmented colors like white yellows, even um, yellow more because it reflects the light rather than absorbs the light, if that makes any sense. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not making this up, people. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this came from a chemist. <laughs> the I can't remember his name. But anyway, he owns uh, Light Elegance. Jim something or other, I can't remember. But he said that's why yellows are really hard to cure. They reflect the light, and it's hard to get them to absorb the light. So, that's why I always do thin coats of gel polish period. No ifs, ands, or buts. I never go in with a thick coat ever. So on the ring finger, pinky is a full cover. Ring finger is a little bit of a slant there. And the middle finger is a straight up and down, half and half. And on the pointer, I do a uh, slant in, in the other direction, a diagonal line in the other direction, in the opposite of the ring finger. I'm just trying to fill in the gap around the cuticle there. I don't know why I'm messing around so much. I just, I really wanted to do this set. It, today is Saturday, February 21st, I think. 
I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, I really wanted to do this set. Really, really, really wanted to do it. But I just wasn't feeling it, you know? So I did it, but my heart wasn't in it today. <laughs> I was real. I don't know. I was just tired. I really don't know why. I mean, I like it. I, I've had the idea in my head for a little while now, ever since a friend of mine, when I did the encapsulation video, and I mentioned that you could probably get the same effect with spider gel and leaf oil. She goes, there's another video for you. So I've, I've had it in the back of my head since then, but I, I just never really got to it and a couple of days ago I was thinking about it and I thought you know what so I tried it on a practice tip of course oh that was kind of cute so I'll do it but I have two colors of spider gel <laughs> I don't have a lot I have pink and I have white so I went with the pink and here I am still putting polish oh my goodness <clears throat> excuse me Yes, break out the big brush. Jeez, a loo. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder about me. But it's all good. This black will be covered. I don't know why I'm being so gosh darn particular with it. Because it will be covered. I'm going to chrome the whole thing. All that black you see will disappear. I'm going to use a beautiful pink chrome. I'm only going to show you the pinky. Because they're all the same. You put down a top coat. Add a little bit of polish in there. You put down a top coat. Holy crap. Like I'm really... I didn't edit this very well, did I? Anyway, get out the, the chrome because you don't want your top coat to get too cold. And you don't want to cure it all the way either. So I put, uh, I used Venelisa top coat. I don't, I try not to use my Madam Glam on my, my practice hand because I use it on my own hands. I like it for my own self rather than my practice hand. I know, I know, I'm greedy. But that's okay. So I do cover the tip. I took it out of the hand, and you know why? I didn't want to get I didn't want to get chrome powder all over the hand. It's so hard to get off chrome powder, leaf foil, glitter. Boy, you gotta take it into the bathroom and wash it with soap and water, and I don't like to do that too much. I paid a lot of money for this hand. I don't wanna wreck it. So you put on your top coat cure it. I usually cure it for 12 seconds. I find that works best for Venelisa top coat and my lamp combination. Uh, cure it for 12 seconds and rub in the chrome. And it is absolutely stinking gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant pink. I have a, a few different pinks, but this one it's almost exactly the color of the leaf foil that I'll use. So once you get the chrome pigment on, you have to cover it again with top top coat. Otherwise, it'll just rub right off. But float the top coat over. You see my brush is hardly fanning out at all because I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just floating the top coat over the chrome powder. And believe it or not, I still have freaking chrome powder in my top coat brush now. C'est la vie. So there you go. They're all chromed out. Looking all blingy. I love chrome. I freaking love chrome. But anyway, this is... Uh, I've had this stuff since, since before I started YouTube, which is almost a year ago. Um... Spider gel from AliExpress meet across brand. So don't even ask me how much I paid for it. I, I can't remember. I do not have a link. I don't have anything. And this is my very first time using spider gel. So, you know, be gentle. <laughs> 
my very first time other than the other night when I tried it on a practice tip. Yeah. So I'm just making some random lines. I have, of course, seen people use spider gel. I just... I, I love the look of it. The things people do with this stuff. Just friggin' amazing. But I, I don't have... I, I Yeah, no. Nah, I'm not getting artistic or anything. I'm just making random lines. Because I don't know what else to do with it. You see all the blobs I have on there? But I do like it in the end. I really do. It doesn't... I'm not going for a neat look. I'm trying to make it look as much like that... That foil mesh stuff from AliExpress as I possibly can. Albeit not the same colors. But, uh... It's a look. Right? It's a look. So that's that. I gave it a full 60 second cure. Oh, by the way, once you top coat the chrome, you do a full cure. So this is the leaf foil I'm using. Uh, this came from Amazon. I have like 12 different colors, but like three or four of the colors are different shades of gold. And I just break a little bit off with that cuticle trimmer because I don't use those for my cuticles. Those scare the bejesus out of me. Although that's what I had to use when I was younger because you know I'm ancient now. Um, and I thought to myself, I wonder would the silicone tool work? And I just put the silicone tool near the leaf foil and it flew up to it. Staticky. See that? <laughs> uh, that was the funniest thing. I thought, okay, it'll work. <laughs> Yep, so I just put random little pieces. The nice thing about using the silicone tool is you can smooth it out as you go. You don't have to pat it with your fingers or, you know, try and use um, tweezers or whatever or brush. It's really... Actually, I, I like using the silicone tool for this a lot better than I like using it for transfer foils. I hate using it for transfer foils. I prefer to use my finger for transfer foils. I don't know. But I like it. It's different. I mean, it's not... It's not amazing. But it's different. I like it. And then I apply a tape, striping tape. Get rid of the foil gel. It's all pressed down really well, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, so a little bit of striping tape. This is one of the ones I won from Rebecca Garcia, I do believe. And I love the striping tape on the card, you guys. It is the easiest thing ever. I don't mind striping tape on a roll either. I just, I reach for these ones much more often than I do the ones on the roll. Because I can never find the friggin' end of it. It's really hard to find the end. So that's it. I am missing a little bit of footage. Uh, my phone's dying on me. So I hope you like hanging out with me today. If you lit, did, please like, comment, subscribe, and ciao for now. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.